Mornings. Good morning, Northwest Morning Sprint is brought to you by Bill's Heating and Air Conditioning. Your time is 6.53. We are getting you ready for your Monday with the Morning Sprint. Mark Peterson has some record cold temperatures to start your work week, and Destiny Richards is live at a new local candy shop just in time for your Halloween celebration. But first to Olivia Roberts following a big day for the Supreme Court. Well, all eyes on the Senate this morning as it moves to confirm Amy Coney Barrett to the Supreme Court. The vote comes just eight days before Election Day. Judge Barrett's confirmation promises to push the high court in a more conservative direction for generations to come. Over the weekend, senators debated Barrett's nomination, with Democrats noting what's at stake with Barrett's appointment. They argue the process has been rushed, but Republicans continue pushing forward, highlighting her career and her qualifications to serve on the nation's highest court. President Trump is expected to swear in Barrett at the White House in an outdoor ceremony later tonight. We'll be watching how the story unfolds all day, and we'll bring you the latest information tonight at 6. Coming up next on Good Morning America, a new COVID outbreak has hit the White House. At least five people in Vice President Mike Pence's circle testing positive, including his chief of staff, who was with the vice president on every campaign stop last week. Following that news, Senate Democrats are calling on the vice president to reconsider his plans to preside over Judge Barrett's confirmation vote. By the way, Karen Pence, his wife, tested negative for COVID. And we are learning more about just how dangerous driving conditions were Friday as that big snow hit between noon and 8 Friday. Spokane police responded to 66 crashes. That does not include crashes in the county or on I-90. With a few days left still in the month, this is already the snowiest October on record for Spokane, with the record shattering 7.5 inches this month. And there is still some ice on the road this morning. And we'll see that ice continue because we're not going to warm up. First alert weather, we're showing again the cold temperatures continue to be pushed into here from the north and a few light flurries are firing up. So we look at that 24-hour forecast for Spokane and Coeur d'Alene. It's going to be clouds on the move. We are going to see a little bit of sunshine, not as much as the weekend, which should help melt some of it, but use caution because overnight lows are going to be record cold again tomorrow morning. Despite North Idaho recently seeing some of the highest daily numbers of COVID-19 cases yet, the mask mandate for Kootenai County was repealed last week. Now the Coeur d'Alene City Council is considering taking its own step to require face masks in the city. If passed, a new resolution would require a face mask inside restaurants if you can't be socially distanced. People ignoring that rule could be cited with a $100 ticket. That meeting will happen just before Governor Brad Little is expected to make an announcement about the state's COVID-19 status. We'll follow both the council meeting and the governor's announcement and share breaking updates through the free 4 News Now app. Make sure you have it downloaded on your phone. Sides remain drawn over the stimulus package. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows took swipes at each other during the Sunday morning talk shows. Sources say Majority Leader Mitch McConnell privately told the White House he doesn't have the support of Senate Republicans to make a deal before Election Day. And the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention reminds Americans to be cautious while voting. It's released safety tips to help slow the spread of COVID-19. In addition to wearing a mask, social distancing, and washing hands before and after casting ballots, the CDC recommends bringing your own supplies like a pen, tissue, and hand sanitizer. The CDC also wants you to try to limit your time at the polls. Check to see if your state has sample ballots so you can quickly fill one out for yourself. This morning we've been live at Fluffy's Candy. It's a new candy store that just opened up in March and it's a great place to get all of your local Halloween candy for the season. They even make their own marshmallow treats here as well. You can go to our website kxly.com for more information on the store, on the nostalgic candies that they have here and more information about the fall festival that they're going to have on Halloween. A safe environment for your kids and your family to get some Halloween candy. Again, go to our website kxly.com for all of those details. If you haven't registered to vote, today is the last day to vote uh, to register to vote online in Washington. In Washington, you can register to vote in person up until 8 p.m. on Election Day. Pre-election voting has already surpassed that of 2016. As of Friday, nearly half of registered voters in Spokane County had already returned their ballots. To check your voter status, find this story on the For the People page on KXY.com. Back with the final check of weather next.